Wow. Okay, I just washed my hands. And when I clapped, like, the water just splashed everywhere. Anyway, um, the 19th Oscars just happened yesterday. And, uh, yes. How time flies. Oh, my gosh. Like, the 89th Oscars it just feels like a month ago. You know, it... Seriously, it feels like a month ago. And now it's already the 90th Oscars. It's been seven years, okay? Seven years since... I started watching the Oscars. The first time I've watched the Oscars is the 84th Oscars, and I watched it because I was bored, and I didn't even know what the Oscars was back in the days. But um, So uh, I'm going to shoot this video as fast as possible so that uh, I will not run out of time. So I wrote down all the things that happened at the Oscars, and um, yeah, I typed it, and I put it in the computer, and uh, I'll, I'll copy the whole thing and put it in the comments below so uh, you can uh, feel free to read that if you want. Anyway, Jimmy Kimmel is back. We are given an encore from Mr. Jimmy Kimmel, one of the best and most popular TV show hosts. And uh, yeah, he's also the host for the 90th Oscars. And uh, yeah, he's funny, but um, I really think that this... Like, this year's Oscars is, like, exceptionally boring. I mean, I mean, it's okay, it's acceptable, I didn't fall asleep or anything, but it's really kind of boring, because, um, it's, first of all, it's over time, it's over three hours long, right? And, uh, and, uh, you know, last year we have Matt Damon actually going up stage, we have mean tweets, we have, um, we have, a uh, we... Not we, but the Oscars. The Oscars have uh, mean tweets. The Oscars have, uh, you know, tributes, tributes to, uh, like, other actors. Uh, the Oscars have uh, introductions for, like, uh, nominated movies. The Oscars have, uh, they dropped candies and cookies and donuts from the sky. And uh, the whole food thing actually started because Ellen DeGeneres, like, called, like, a pizza. But, uh, yeah, and last time... The Oscars, they they brought tourists into the Dolby Theater, and that's like an insane thing. And the most insane thing this time is basically uh, a bunch of actors, great actors and actresses, by the way, Gal Gadot, um, Ansel Elgort, um, and uh, many more, Emily Blunt, and they all went to the Chinese theaters and the Hollywood Boulevard, and uh, I guess that's, that's the highlight, that's the comedic highlight. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, anyway, my, my earphones. Uh, anyway, uh, in short, this year's Oscars is pretty damn boring. Oh, boy. <laughs> Both Guillermo's, apparently. Okay, so let's continue. First of all, uh, most of the awards given in, in, the, uh, in the awards list right here is actually really well deserved and well given. Not, actually, none of the awards here are snubbed, in my opinion. Not like huge snubs, but um, there were a little, all little right, disappointments. All there, right, were all right. bit, there was a bit of disappointments in the awards list but overall i'm extremely satisfied uh let's talk about best makeup and hairstyling first darkest hour one which is uh of the expectation because what they did to gary oldman to transform him into uh, winston churchill that is epic and um best costume design a movie about costume design has got to win Best Costume Design, Phantom Threads by Mark Bridges, also the guy who won a sket, sket, who won a jet ski because he had the shortest speech, and uh, I I think the 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 whole jet ski idea is kind of brilliant too, but eh, it's it's just that. Dave Chappelle. Okay, so, um, best documentary features Icarus by, uh, by, 
bunch of people. I, I'm not bothered to watch documentaries, to be honest. Nor am I bothered to watch documentary shorts, live action shorts, and and uh, animated shorts. Because who bothers, right? But uh, yeah, best documentary feature, Icarus. Um, let's see. Um, best animated short, Dear Basketball by Glenn K and Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant won an Oscar. I bet he's gonna win a Grammy next year for making like a rap album or something. <laughs> wow. I mean, great, great stuff. Congratulations to Kobe Bryant. Um, best animated feature film, um, Coco. Thank goodness Coco won, and it's not Boss Baby, because it'll be embarrassing if it's Boss Baby. Um, best documentary short, Heaven is a Traffic Jam on the 405. I, I haven't watched any of these documentary shorts or live action shorts, but uh, the, the whole heroin documentary short sounds kind of interesting. I don't know, best live action short, we have The Silent Child. And, um, yeah, but I, I like, I kind of watched, I, I didn't watch any of that, by the way, but I just looked through, like, the nominees, and, uh, I don't know, Watu Wote sounds pretty interesting, but I have no idea, I have no clue, so don't ask me anything about that. Okay, then we're gonna talk about, um, sound category. Yes, in my Dunkirk review, I told you how much I love the the, um, the editing, the cinematography, the sound mixing and editing of the movie. The quality is so high, and that's one of the reasons why the whole Dunkirk experience feels so realistic and captivating. And uh, yes, they won both sound editing and sound mixing. And that is kind of rare for the Oscars, at least in my view, because um, usually... A movie wins sound editing and another movie wins sound mixing. I was kind of hoping for Baby Driver to win best sound mixing. Because all those sync ups between like songs and like gunfires and car sounds. Those are really, really genius. But uh, it's, it's such a shame that Baby Driver didn't bring home any award. Like can you just give Baby Driver one award maybe? Maybe? But yeah, Dunkirk, I, I don't have any problem with that. And also, Dunkirk won uh, Best Editing, and I think that's that's a pretty sensible um, choice. Best Production Design, The Shape of Water. And uh, yes, um, sure, why not? Again, nothing too groundbreaking or off the wall about the production design of The Shape of Water. It has this really nice... 60s feel with a bit of steampunk with a bit of gothic and that's it and um yeah i i i appreciate it best foreign language film a fantastic woman from chile um again i i wasn't bothered to watch any of these foreign language films um i remember like a long time ago like there's this crazy like, Amour, there was this movie called Amour, a Russian movie, which also got nominated for Best Picture, that's crazy, but uh, I wasn't bothered to watch any of these, um, yeah, I was kinda, I don't know, it's, I, I know, I know nothing, by the way, but, um, I was kinda interested in The Square from Sweden, oh, and, uh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Moss is in The Square also, so, uh, yeah, I was kinda hoping for that to win, but whatever. Alright, what else uh, did I forget? Uh, best Visual Effects, Blade Runner 2049 by John Nelson, Gurdon Nervzer, Paul Lambert, and Richard R. Hoover. Is Paul Lambert the same guy who helped uh, uh, doing the visual effects for Inception? Because, uh, man, I mean, Blade Runner 2049's visual effects, they are amazing. And, uh, and so is um, The Last Jedi, but um, yeah, that is also a pretty well-deserved win, in my opinion. But damn, this is truly a big moment, because Roger Deakins had finally won an Oscar for cinematography, and I am extremely happy for him. 
he had been nominated for 13 times in the past, but never won a, an Oscar. You know, he had been nominated for Skyfall. And uh, which movie did, did he lose to? I, I forgot. I think it's Life of Pi or something. Life of Pi cinematography is really good also. So uh, Richard Deakins had been going up against a lot of amazing like cinematographers. But um, never did Roger Deakins won an Oscar. So now he finally won an Oscar, and I'm just really, really happy about that. So uh, congratulations. Blade Runner 2049 is really beautiful and um, great. I mean, great. What next, however? Um, well, let's talk about uh, Best Adapted Screenplay, Call Me By Your Name by James Ivory. And um, I was kind of hoping for Logan to win because Logan is my favorite movie of last year. So kind of rooting for Logan. But yeah, that also. Yes! Hell yes! Hell yes to Jordan Peele for writing Get Out. Like, I didn't even expect such a comedically dark and twisted story from Jordan Peele. So congratulations. Real, real congratulations. So far, so good. <clears throat> okay, it's either Baby Driver or Dunkirk. Okay. Well. Okay. Okay, uh, Best Original Score, The Shape of Water by Alexandra Desplat. Eh. Okay, um. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna look up Alexandra Desplat. And see how many times have he won the Oscars. Because... Because I remember him winning, like, like a couple years ago, right? Okay. Yep, the Grand Budapest Hotel. Um, like, I don't know, but it would be amazing if Hans Zimmer or Johnny Greenwood had won. Actually, for the entire Oscars, for the entirety of the award show, Johnny Greenwood had half a second of screen time. I actually saw him. I actually saw him. <gasps> In my opinion, none of the songs nominated for Best Original Song is that memorable or uh, epic or grand. Like last year, we have uh, La La Land with a uh, uh, City of Stars, and that is like epic. And then like there's a year for uh, Glory from Selma, and then there's another year for uh, Les Miserables. But this year, there's not much, you know grand grandeur in these songs um and uh, yeah the, the 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 performances are also kind of awkward kind of underwhelming in my opinion the the common performance is also a little a little bit awkward maybe <laughs> and uh yeah and the winner is remember me from coco by robert lopez and Kristen anderson they're the same people who um who did let it go which is a huge hit uh but sure why not and also uh eddie vetter from pearl jam oh, oh i am alive uh, <laughs> uh did uh, the uh the in memoriam so um but like a couple years ago dave grohl sang for for in memoriam and that is truly memorable Okay, so before I talk about the last four huge awards, I'm just going to talk about the hosts. The truly funny, like, presenters, not hosts, Westworld, am I watching too much Westworld? Presenters. Like, there are, like, a lot of funny presenters, especially Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle actually video bombed, like, Chadwick Boseman, Margot Robbie, and Nicole Kidman backstage, and I think that's pretty genius. They didn't give, they didn't give... Dave Chappelle enough time to, you know, crack another joke. And, uh, yeah, uh, Ku Mail Nanjiani was also really funny. You know, he's from Pakistan and Iowa. Uh, I also think uh, Tiffany Haddish and Maya Rudolph were pretty funny as presenters, especially Tiffany Haddish. She's full of energy and she's crazy about Meryl Streep. <laughs> That's really funny. And, um, yeah. This year, they just threw, like, a montage of the Governor Awards and the, uh, the Science Technology Awards, 
and uh, they didn't talk about it that much. Last year, Vince Vaughn went upstage to talk about the Governor's Awards, but uh, this year it didn't happen. And, um, but yeah, overall, it's eh, you know, it's eh. Okay. Okay, anyway, Best Director goes to Guillermo del Toro uh, from The Shape of Water. And it's kind of a predictable choice because he had also won in the Golden Globes. Um, I was kind of hoping for Christopher Nolan to win again because Christopher Nolan is such a mastermind. He's such a genius and uh, the vision he had for many movies like from Dunkirk to Interstellar to uh, Inception, especially Inception and The Dark Knight and Memento, you know, he's just amazing. He's got a really rich and fruitful filmography, but uh, Guillermo del Toro is also really cool also. Um, best Leading Actor, Gary Oldman, of course, and of course I forgot to talk about the supporting actors and actresses. Supporting actor, Sam Rockwell, all the way. Sam Rockwell completely immersed himself into the character in Three Billboards, and to see him win is, uh, is a relief. And uh, Best Supporting Actress is Allison Jenny, of course. She's uh, really amazing in I, Tanya. Best Leading Actor, Gary Oldman. Damn, Gary Oldman is so good at acting. You know, this time uh, he, uh, he did Winston Churchill, and, you know, he's just freaking amazing. Leading Actress, Frances McDormand, as expected, but also in an extremely well-deserved win because... Frances McDormand kicks ass in Three Bow Boards, and, uh, yeah, he's amazing, she's amazing. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, um, um, the Oscars kind of broke the tradition of, um, you know, the leading actor, the best leading actor of the previous year presents the award for best leading actress this year, and vice versa, and, um, yeah, this year Casey Affleck well didn't like didn't attend the Oscars like he quit it being the presenter and uh, this time it kind of breaks the tradition so that's kind of interesting and uh, Jodie Foster and Jennifer Lawrence actually uh, presented the best leading actress award and uh, they both were also really funny and they were like laughing at Meryl Streep as well. At last, Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway returns to present the Best Picture Award again, because it's more like a redemption, you know, it's more like a second chance, and the Best Picture goes to The Shape of Water. Alright, um, it wasn't like out of the expectation, nor do I think that it's the, the super best picture, but to be honest, I'm kind of satisfied with that. It would be amazing if Three Billboards Outside Ebbing Misery had one Best Picture, uh, no way would Dunkirk or Get Out win. Like they, these two movies, Dunkirk and Get Out, are amazing movies. But um, it, I I don't think it's that best picture Oscars type, you know. And yeah, The Shape of Water. Um, I think The Shape of Water is the second most Oscarsy movie in in the nominees list and uh seeing the shape of water win is um it's kind of predictable but hey whatever but yeah uh m movies like the shape of water or spotlight is no way close to m to movies like moonlight and birdman because yeah it's eh not not a single movie in in the in the best picture nominees list really blew my mind like Boom, like an atomic bomb, but a, uh, whatever, it, it's still great. So, um, overall, this year's Oscars is, uh, although it's not entertaining at all, it's, it's kind of boring. I do like a, a, a bit of it, like the whole, uh, jet ski and the whole, uh, moviegoers thing. And I do like some of the, uh, um, presenters and all of the awards given are, um, are, yeah are satisfying so what do you think about the oscars this year um tell me goodbye <laughs>